Yo, what's going on? Sexy Samuel Squad today. We're here doing a ranked 1v1. It's not ranked, I guess. It's custom. But um, we're on the PTS. And on the PTS, there is so many new items, new glyphs, new skins, new everything. One of the new glyphs actually changes the game just as much as one of the baubles does. You know, max cooldown up to 60%. Attack speed changed or, or doing less damage, but 40% more projectile speed. This one actually lowers the max. This actually lowers the maximum attack speed from 2.5 to 1.75. So you're losing out on 75%-ish attack speed. Um, which is really significant. But here's the catch. It's 35%. Penetration, but the the, the the okay, it's weird because there's a difference. It's not just penetration, right? Because pen is capped at forty percent. You cannot have more than forty percent pen, and you know, do that much, right? So the reason I think it's a little bit strong is because when you read this heavy executioner, which is the item I'm talking about, you get thirty five percent. Uh, Physical target or physical protection reduction, which is not penetration. It's not penetration. It's protection shred. Protection shred and penetration can be stacked on top of each other. So basically with heavy executioner and Titan's Bane, with, hev he with heavy executioner, Titan's Bane, Deathbringer, and Wind Demon, I'm going to be attacking very slow. But my auto attacks will deal basically true damage. They will do a lot of shit, man. Oh, what the? Oh, how dare you? Oh, oh. And the reason I'm playing Nemesis for this build, by the way, is because she has uh, a very fast and relatively easy to pull off. Auto attack cancel with the three. So, um, I just felt like she was a good option for this build. Obviously doing it with like, oh, I hate you. Obviously doing it with a hunter is possible, but, but I don't know. I just really feel like playing it on Nemesis will be, will be okay. All right. Go do my blue now. I almost lost that blue buff, by the way. Because banish. Huh? When was at the door? Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's not off. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Where's my face cam? There it is. It's off. Is there anything there? Yeah, the front door is a bit stuck. That's weird. Was it like... Huh. Weird. I don't know. I didn't either. Oh my god, I'm getting shit on. Freya's OP, help. Ugh. Oh my god, she's just eating through my shield. Please! Oh my god, holy crap. That was so close, dude. I was so close to dying there. Alright, my bad. Face cam, light, everything's back up. Perfect. We're back. I got golden blade because obviously I need a little bit of help with clearing. Dude, how did I just get a kill and I'm only 200 gold ahead? How did I... How do I have... Oh, no, wait. Never mind. I understand. Because I thought I got two buffs, but I only got one. That's why I'm not as... Okay. Ow. 
Bro autoed me like twice for 700 damage. You're level six, relax. Ouch. Oh, you're so dead. You're so dead. Archers? Oh my god. All right, red buff is mine. I think my next item is just going to be Executioner. Because Heavy Executioner, the Glyph, you're still uh, you're still getting attack speed from it. Or like, even though it caps your attack speed out, it still gives you a little bit. It still helps you get to that 1.75 cap. By the way, for those wondering, um, I don't know if it says it on here. It doesn't. But for those wondering if you can build silver branch stacks easier because your max attack speed is 1.75. In terms of silver branch or just in general other item interactions, they will all interact as if your attack speed is still capped at 2.5. So you're not going to gain silver branch for building over 1.75 attacks uh, attack speed. Unfortunately, because I did when we were playtesting, I did ask them about that and they said no. So kind of unlucky but also definitely fair and balanced because if you are allowed to build <laughs> if you are allowed to build <clears throat> silver branch and just start stacking over 1.75 attack speed you would have so many stacks you'd have so much power it'd be crazy okay don't run don't run don't run you ran how much is this 950 I guess I'll just hit one more wave and then get... Ah, uh, no, because I should I should just wait till 1550, honestly, for the glyph. Yeah, because... Ah, uh, dude, that's crazy. So, basically, I can pair Heavy Executioner. I can build Heavy Executioner with, like, Dominance, let's say. To give me 25% pen on my basic attacks, plus 35% shred. Removing... Removing 60% of his armor. He could build six defensive items and still not... Okay, hold on. Ow. Ow. Jesus Christ, you do so much. Okay, hold on. I'm ulting. Don't banish me. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. He activated his one and not his two. If he activated his two, I think I die there. All right, I got my executioner. Actually, I got my full, my full heavy executioner. And I'm going to go frenzy too. So what the fuck? I'm almost at max attack speed already. 1.66 attack speed. Max attack speed for me at the moment is 1.75 because of heavy executioner. But I just want you to see like how much damage this is going to deal. Okay, hold on. He just whooped me and then walked away. All right, red buff for free. Oh my god. Dead to mannequins. Dead to mannequins. Dude, seven autos, 1100 damage. How long do these stacks last on them? Three seconds, maximum of two stacks. That's pretty long, honestly. That's pretty long. So I can shred 35% protections. Plus I can get dominance for even more pen. And then I just... And then I get like... 20 base pen from something. Right? I get like 20 base pen from something and I just am dealing true damage. Is that just straight up how that works? Pen. Base pen. Oh, Toxic Blade is 15 pen on it. Wind Demon has 10% pen. I want to go hit Bull Demon and see how much the shred works. So my first auto... 184. Oh my god. My uh, my first auto went from 184 to 228. Literally. Oh uh, well. I mean. It's going to sound dumb when I say. It's literally 35% more damage. 
I just... Yeah, I just killed Bull Demon in 18 auto attacks. I just did 4,000 damage in 18 auto attacks. Don't you do it. Ouch. Alright. Why did I get Bull Demon, by the way? I just wanted to test my damage, and I ended up just taking Bull Demon. Oh, okay. I'll run away, I'll run away. Let's go get Dominance. So much pen. Does Dominance, with 25% pen on your autos, does that work on towers? I think it does. Alright, but anyways, now that I'm max attack speed... I just build Wind Demon and Deathbringer, and I just go to absolute Chunkin' Donuts. Come here, Steven. Oh my god, ow. Okay, we run from those. Oh no. Oh god. Holy shit. You know, my power really isn't that high. But I feel like my autos are not reflecting my power. My autos are not reflecting my power just because of the fact that I'm, I have so much pen on my shit. Can I get this or will I die? Oh! Live? Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shnikes. Alright, Wind Demon. I can't afford it yet. Oh, man. Dude. <clears throat> Dude, all the items feel so good. Like, Bancroft's Freya feels... Chef's Kiss. Um, heavy Executioner with any god that can auto-attack cancel well feels good. Like, with Nemesis, obviously, with Mercury, I bet it feels really, really strong because you build crit on Mercury anyways. With most of the Hunters... <clears throat> like basically just people you want really like meaty autos on you just like want to hit them twice and they die that's basically what you want heavy executioner on nemesis is definitely one of those characters come down from the sky darn it all right i back i back i back Build this, and this, and this. All right, now I gotta go see Bull Demon again. I gotta give, go see how it looks. Now that I got 35% shred and 25% pen. Oh, and I'll pop girdle too. Holy fuck, dude, that auto hits for 371. I can auto attack with a non crit for 371. It's crazy because even though my attack speed is 1.75, I really feel like with Nemesis, because of her auto attack chain being 1 1.75, 1. like it really doesn't feel that slow. Oh my gosh. Steve is really good at banishing my shield, and it's pissing me off. I gotta get a Deathbringer so I can bring death to him. Yeah. Do I have any lifesteal? I don't, right? I guess I could. I could just build lifesteal, to be fair.
really want that phoenix again, but I feel like if I come over there, he's just gonna kill me, dude. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Help! Jesus. Dude. Bancroft's Freya. Bancroft's Freya. How do... Oh my god, I hit him three times for 616. I don't think any of my autos on him were a crit either. He hit me five times. <laughs> he hit me five times for 1700 damage. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Dude, I missed being able to build Bancrofts on Freya. <clears throat> Steve, waste your three. Oh, damn it. Nope. Nope. Ow, dude. What the fuck? You hit me once for 350. How much is Deathbringer? Five, fifteen, fifty. Unfortunately, I do have to sacrifice upgrading the Deathbringer because I already have one glyph, and you can't buy more than one. But I think once I get Deathbringer, like, assuming I actually land crits, he's big dead. I have I have sixty percent pen basically following crits that deal extra damage and i have 50 percent of crit chance i do all right fight me baby boy oh god he popped two just 180 bring it on dumbass he said <laughs> all right i'm scared Dude, I want to fight. Yeah, hit the minions, not me. Oh, dude. Holy shit. I hit him two autos for 1,200 damage. I'm shredding the Titan. Kill Freya. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, God. He sprinted. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Holy crap. All right. I lived. Dude, I was so close to being able to win there. I just autoed for 800. I can't afford upgraded mannequins yet. So to that, I say, oh, well. Let's upgrade our berserkers anyway. Hold on. Never mind, I thought I had to sneeze, but it just went away. Hate that, but is what it is. He's going to go Gilded Arrow. Oh, he already got Gilded Arrow. He's going to have an extra 60% attack speed. Oh, no, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I hit him six times for 3,000 damage, which just is an average of 500 damage in auto, which is insane. But he hit me seven times for 1,700 damage. No, 1,900 damage. Holy Jesus Christ. Okay, minions, do me a solid. Win the game so I don't have to fight him again. Minions, minions. Come on. You got me, minions? You got me? Oh, my God. My minions are garbage. <laughs> Why do I even pay him, man? Why do I even pay him? <clears throat> Dude, that's crazy. The, cr the craziest thing about that fight going not great for me is 
that he missed his three and he didn't have alt. And I still only traded. Granted, the Phoenix did do 1300 damage to me. Nope. Alright, his two's down. Go, boys. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Not like this. Holy shit. Oh, God, he sprinted. Let's go. Oh my god. What an actually intense game. Holy fuck. Actually intense. Wow. Dude, the level 20 Freya with the Bancroft's uh nimble passive just Jesus fuck. What a crazy fight. I I actually think Hold on. I'm let me let me let me try to think. I'm trying to think between if I would have done better without heavy executioner or if I did better with it. I think I did better with it because he had Well, no, cuz he had no defense. I think if he had defense heavy executioner obviously would have been better, but because he didn't build defense, heavy executioner really doesn't make too much sense. But um it's still a very very fun item and the numbers you see when you build this item are extremely high so definitely log on pts give it a shot or you can just wait till wednesday when the patch is out and give it a shot then but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys peace